So with this question, we have a equal 4, b equals to minus 2, c is equal to 3. So solve a squared minus bc all over b plus c. So it's a squared minus bc all over b plus c. So now a, a is 4, so 4 squared minus b. Now, wherever I say b, I'm going to put minus 2. Remember, we have a minus in the expression. So right about only minus. b is minus 2 times c. c is 3 all over b, which is minus 2, plus c, which is 3. So we're going to solve it up. So now, right here, we have 4 squared. 4 squared, remember, 4 squared is 16. 4 squared is equal to 4 multiplied by 4, which is equal to 16. Now, we have a minus sign here, minus, so keep the minus. Now, negative 2 times positive 3 is negative 6. All over, this is minus 2 plus 3. You could have go ahead and multiply and say positive, because negative times negative is positive. So we could say 6. 16 plus 6, because negative times negative is positive. A small bracket means multiply. Negative times negative is positive. All over. Now, minus 1 plus 3. Sorry. Minus 2 plus 3 is 1. Get that? We have 2 negative signs. 1, 2. Now, we have 3 positive signs. 1, 2, 3. So, if you realize, these 2 cancel each other. We are left with a positive sign, which means positive 1. Now, 16 plus 6 is 22 over 1. 22 over 1 is the um, correct answer for that question. Next, we have a equal to b equal minus 3, c equal to 0. We're supposed to solve a 4a minus 2b plus 3c. So it's 4a minus 2b plus 3c. Remember, a is 2, so it's 4 times 2, minus 2 times b, which is minus 3, plus 3 times c, which is 0. So 4 2 is 8. Negative times negative is positive. 2 3 is 6 plus 3 times 0 is 0. So 0 is not going to change anything. So 8 plus 6 is 14. Now, the second part of that question is very easy. A raised to the C power, right here. A raised to the C power. So remember, A raised to the C power, which is A is 2. To the C power, C is 0 right here. Remember, anything raised to the power of 0 is 1. Remember, anything raised to the power of 0 is 1. So, we can move on to the next question. So, we have calculate R when P equals 6 and Q equals to 12. So, R is equal to 2 p squared divided by q minus 3. So r is equal to 2 times p squared, p is 6 squared over q minus 3. q minus 3 is 12 minus is 12 that's giving a bit of problem. 12 minus 3. Now, 2 times 6. No, students make a typical mistake like that. 2 times 6. No. What you need to do, you need to get rid of the exponent first. So, you need to square the 6, which is 6 squared is equal to 6 times 6, which is equal to 36. So, r is equal to 2 times 36 divided by 12 minus 3 is 9. 2 times 36 are 2 times 36 
which is 72 divided by 9 and so r is equal to 8 because 9 8 72 so 9 into 72 goes 8 r is equal to 8